Okay, so today we're here doing some root collar excavations uh, and also uh, looking for some baskets that could possibly be girdling uh, the bases of these trees from when they were planted, maybe 10 years or so. The trees are struggling and not doing well. We've done a couple already. We found some baskets which we cut. We also found some burlap and some twine and also some girdling roots that we were able to cut while the trees are yet young, uh, which isn't damaging to them, but helpful. So we're gonna open this one up and see if we could change the grade and find the root collar of the tree, which is very important to be able to see uh, at grade level. opened up the base of the tree here. You can see where the handle of the air spade is across level where the soil was originally. We're down a good, oh, more than eight inches from the bottom till we got to the root collar here, which is right down here. So this tree essentially was planted probably, you know, on the downhill side of this slope and then additional eight to ten inches too deep. So that's really been what's struggling the tree. Uh, or been struggling, uh, the reason why the tree has been struggling. You can also see that some of these roots here, adventitious roots, uh, these roots were, uh, the tree pushed these roots out from its stem uh, because of the fact that there was moisture and soil up around the stem, uh, which isn't, uh, you know, isn't, the tree isn't naturally meant to have that. So we're going to cut some of these adventitious roots and try to lower the grade of the soil as best as we can so that we can see this collar when we're done. Good news is I haven't found any baskets girdling this or any uh, nylon string or anything like that. Um, so it may have been taken off when it was installed, which is a good thing. Okay, so one of the other things um, that we can find by uncovering uh, the 
the, the collar of the tree is that there are some girdling roots that are starting to come out and go over this collar or this main stabilizer root, um, which it, it actually struggle, uh, strangles the entire tree, cuts off all the nutrient flow. So what we're going to do today, in addition to severing these adventitious roots above the collar, which shouldn't be there, um, we are going to cut these girdling roots so that as the tree grows, it's not choking itself out. You have to be careful when you're cutting girdling roots. You have to use a judgment call and decide whether or not you know you think that the, the root is too big to cut. These are relatively small roots. Sometimes you'll find that they're on a tree like this, they could be as big as one of these stabilization roots, which maybe you would cut over the course of three or four years, a little bit a year, and you put less stress on the tree. Uh, this is always a challenge because now the grade of the soil is so far down uh, where, where the grade is supposed to be as compared to where it is. We're going to have to uh, leave this a little, a little on the open side uh, and hopefully it doesn't fill in over time. Uh, it's either that or excavate up, you know, three or four yards of soil per tray, uh, which is going to be a, you know, a huge job. So we're going to do our best to bring it back to the way it should be and hopefully um, you know, the tree will survive. One other thing I will say is that with this air spade, it allows you to actually kill and loosen the soil. Some of this soil down here is uh, extremely hard, almost like concrete, uh, and you would never be able to do it by hand. It would take you forever. So we did this maybe in about 15 or 20 minutes complete, uh, and it's loosened the soil up, and, uh, you know, we're able to cut some roots. So very advantageous to the tree. I would say in doing this kind of work, it's uh, extremely loud, extremely dusty. You need to have uh, glasses on, safety glasses, ear protection, uh, even like a, a safety shield like this helps uh, when you have rocks and small particles of soil that are hitting in the face. Uh, so those things are really important. Um, we put the soil back around the base of this tree now as best as we can, um, where you can still see the collar. It is quite uh, quite a bit of a dish here, um, but we're better to have that dish than to have the soil up here where it was uh, originally. That way this part of the tree will not start to decompose due to too much moisture and soil built up on it. So uh, we'll check the tree, um, you know, periodically to see how it's doing uh, and then hopefully, um, you know, we can turn it around and the tree will survive and live a, a full long life.